Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Ketholeno. NDA candidate Jagdeep Dhankar has been elected as the 14th Vice President of India. In the election held yesterday, he won 346 votes over opposition candidate Margaret Alva. Briefing media at the Parliament House, returning officer for the Vice Presidential Election and Lok Sabha Secretary General Utpal Kumar Singh said that, out of 780 votes of members of Parliament, Jagdeep Dhankar got 528 votes, while Margaret Alva could garner 182 votes. He said 15 votes remained invalid. Regional parties like Janata Dal United, YSRCP, BSP, AIADMK and TDP have supported NDS candidate Jagdeep Dhankar. Along with the UPA allies, Aam Admi Party, TRS and Jharkhand Mukti Morcha have supported Mrs. Alva in the election. On the other hand, the All India Trinamul Congress decided to abstain from the vice presidential election. Present Vice President of India M. Venkai Naidu's term is ending on the 10th of this month. Nagaland School Education Department said it is seriously examined the concerns expressed by the Peck Town Youth Society, PTYS. Principal Director of School Education, Thawasilan K, in a press release said, Government Higher Secondary School, GHSS PAC, has sufficient number of teachers to smoothly run the school. He said, the new principal posted to GHSS PAC has already assumed charge on 4th of this month. The principal director said, post the recent transfer of one postgraduate teacher, PGT, each in chemistry and maths, GHSS PEG will have 22 PGTs and 8 graduate teachers, totaling 30 teachers. According to the press release, GHSS PEG had two PGTs for chemistry and two for maths, but one teacher each from chemistry and maths have been transferred and posted to GHSS Perrin and GHSS Kifiri, where science stream is being offered from this year. GHSS PEG has 585 students from class 7 to 12. Tavasilan said the department presently has shortage of PGTs and placed requisition for 116 posts of PGTs with the NPSC. The department said all issues raised by PTYS will be addressed in conformity with the department's norms. GHSS PAC is currently closed down for an indefinite period by PTYS in their demand for teachers. Inauguration program of Tenning Town Hall and Tenning Subdivisional Horticulture Office was held at Tenning Town yesterday. Advisor for Horticulture and Border Affairs, Mathang Yanthan, inaugurated the Subdivisional Horticulture Office. In his speech, Yanthan said, Tenning area people are fortunate to have achieved the establishment of Subdivisional Horticulture Office. He urged the gathering to make use of the facilities provided by the government, stating that government of the day is focused mainly on agricultural sectors to uplift the society. Advisor for Water Resources Namrin Chang inaugurated Tenning Town Hall. He advised the gathering to focus more in the fields of farming so as to not waste the fertile lands. Chang informed that the newly inaugurated town hall will be managed and looked after by the administration for the area people. President Drupadi Murmu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Ministers and several leaders have extended wishes to Jagdeep Dhankar on winning the vice presidential election. In a tweet, President Murmu said the nation will benefit from Dhankar's long and rich experience of public life. Vice President M. Venkai Naidu said the nation will greatly benefit from his vast experience and legal expertise. Prime Minister Narendra Modi met Vice President-elect Jagdeep Dhankar at his residence in Delhi and conveyed his greetings and best wishes. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipu Rio congratulated Jagdeep Dhankar on being elected the 14th Vice President of India. Rio in a tweet wished him a successful tenure and many years of fruitful service to the nation. And Nagaland Deputy Chief Minister Waipaton has greeted the Kamangan community on the occasion of Byam. In his message on behalf of the state BJP legislators, Paton said the festival rituals reflect the rich cultural aspects associated with it. Paton wished the Kamangan community a bountiful harvest and prayed for peace and prosperity. That's all we have in this morning news bulletin. Have a good day.